Hey, what's up everybody? This is Pan. Welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can hook up your network attached storage to the Formula Z Mini. Now, also in the previous video, I mentioned that I lost over 30 minutes of footage that was scheduled for Rumble when it came to the My TV Online 3 application. Everything that I've been doing from the last video and even this video is geared towards that one premium application that comes with this device that cannot be installed on any other Android device outside of Formula. People have imitated it, sure, but my TV online is exclusive to the Formula devices or the lineup. And we're going to get started with this. And with the rumble content that's scheduled after this video, we'll do a deeper dive into why we're doing this. So in the last video, I spoke about what you needed and the tools that you needed in order to hook up an external drive or a flash drive to this so that you can have some storage on here so that you can do some recordings. Now we're going to utilize network storage. So that's right here. Click into it. Now notice it went away. I'm not sure if you caught that. Um, it was already mounted just so I can test out the feature for myself. Now you're going to have what you see here. You're going to have add server. All right. So you want to add server and you're going to be presented with this. Now you're going to have to know what your device IP address is. I'm using the example over on the left. That's what worked for me. If you have a username and password, then you need to enter in your credentials. This is based off of your device information and not mine's. This is how you set it up. You can give it a name. You give the network path. Look at the example over on the left where it says the IP address and the share folder. That's critical. Then username and password if necessary. So what I'm going to do, because it doesn't hide any of these things, it leaves it right in the open. So I'm going to pause the video. Then I'm going to show you that it's mounted afterwards and you'll see my share folder with the IP address, but you just won't see my credentials that I chose for this. All right. And what we have right here is I labeled it NAS that stands for network attached storage. And I'm using a Synology two bay. Um, I invested in it. Like, what was that a few years back? And it wasn't even that much. So, I'm, I'm just doing like different things with it, but I don't talk about it as much because um, I won't be utilizing a NAS going forward when it comes to my next storage investment. However, you know that it's working when it gives you that logo where it has like a bar in between and then there's a, it's, it's like a U and then a, a U on the left and the right, if that makes sense for simplest terms. And it gives the IP information along with the share folder. That's when you know that it's working. And to prove that, <clears throat> I'm going to jump into my TV online. Now, I don't know if anything is going to play right away. So I'm going to pause the video. And I'm going to show you the section where you enable the DVR options. Okay. So the channel was definitely playing and I just went into the settings from the three lines on the remote, or some people have to say the hamburger menu, whatever you align with <laughs> at the end of the day. But I went to settings and I'm going to go to DVR options. Now I got my time shift on. Now notice the recording storage location and time shift location is like, it has a line through it. That was my former storage location. That was the flash drive video or the external storage video I did previously. So we're going to choose the network attached storage 
for recording. And as you can see, network drive. Click that. And that's the drive information. Also time shift. And I'm going to select that as well. And you know time shift is on when this part is over to the right. When it's like that, that means it's off. When it's white, that means it's on to the right. And this extra recording time is personal preference. Um, I'm leaving it off. I don't need any extra recording time to the beginning and the end of the recordings. But you can experiment with that. Now, on the Rumble version, I'm just going to be showing you how this could be useful. I mean, what a lot of people do is that they hook it up to their network attached storage because they have more storage in general and it's on their network. So when it's finished recording, it automatically goes to the share folder that you specified. And you can scan that into your Plex, your MB, your Jellyfin, your Cody, or you can just have it be on your network. And if you have like a smart TV with internet on that, that can read it, you can play it that way or with some other method is on your network. So that's the purpose. That's the major pro of doing this is on your network. And more than likely you have access to more storage when you do it this way. And um, it's, a, it's a convenient way. So thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. And um, Definitely go to Rumble. All information will be down in the description. And everybody stay blessed and take care.